So here's my final story. On a day like today, you might feel exhilarated. Uh, like uh, you've been just shut of a cannon at the circus. And even invisible. Don't ever forget the incredible feeling. But also, always remember that's the moment we have with friends and family and the chances we have and, and the chances that we have to do things that might make a big difference in the world or or even to make a small difference to the ones we love or those wonderful chances that life gives us and life also take away it can happen fast and uh, a whole lot sooner than you think in late March 1996 soon after I moved to Stanford for, for grad school my had a difficulty breathing and drove to the and drove to the hospital Two months later, he died. I was completely devastated. Many years later, after start up, after falling in love, and after so many of life's adventure, I found myself thinking of my dad. Lucy and I were far away in Stephen Hall Village, walking through a narrow street. There are wonderfully friendly people everywhere. But it was a desperately poor place. People used bathroom inside, and, uh, and it flowed out into the river, and it flowed out, and uh, people used the bathroom inside, and it flowed out into the open gutter, and straight into the river. We touched a boy with a limp leg, the results of a paralysis from polio. Lucy and I were in rural India, one of the few places where polio still exists. Polio is transmitted to polio is transmitted fecal to oral, usually through filthy water. Well my dad was polio. He went, on, he went on a trip to Tennessee in first grade. And uh, uh, he was hospitalized for two months and uh, had to be transported by military DC-3 back home, his first flight, his first flight. He wrote, then I, had to, then I had to stay in bed for over a year before I started to back school. This is actually a quote from his fifth grade autobiography. <laughs> 